Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. iOS 17 Beta 5 is finally here with some new features and changes that we're going to talk about in this video. And we have a lot more to talk about this update and of course the future of iOS 17. So this update will come to your device at around one gigabyte. Of course, this will be different on different devices and different based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone. Now, what's really interesting is the build number of this update that ends with a D, which means that we will most likely get another three betas before we get the RC version and then the final release of iOS 17. But we're gonna talk about those exact dates in a minute here. But first of all, let's take a look at some new features and changes that you will be able to find on iOS 17 beta 5. Now, first of all, from the spotlight search, when you want to set a timer, you will see a different UI now. So it has completely changed. You will have here the duration and then you can switch here between minutes, seconds, milliseconds, whatever you want to use or even hours. And of course, once you have picked any of these, you can go ahead and then type here any number you want. And this will allow you to start a timer from the spotlight search with the whole new UI. Moving on into the settings app under the messages settings, go to data here for your check-in data and you will see now we have a new UI here, basically Apple explaining what check-in does. So you will have limited and you have full access and you can see the difference there in graphics how basically that will change from the limited section to the full section here you can see all the differences that they have put here and also in this page you will also see your devices right here so i have another iphone and my apple watch right here and it says checking data sharing only occurs if you do not respond when prompted so you will have your devices here and of course here you will have sample data of how these will actually look and work on your devices. There is a new change for Shazam as well. So when you try to find a new song on Shazam, you will now see this little animation right there with the Shazam logo and also this animation right there once it finds the song, which is really, really interesting. Now, another change I've noticed here is that it will actually stay here on the dynamic island so even if we just dismiss this we can bring this back so it will stay there for a while of course until you open it on the shazam app ios 17 now allows you to locate your siri remote so once you have your basically remote connected to your tv it will actually allow you to locate your remote if you have it close by but you cannot find it you cannot see it you can now use this new feature to actually locate it a really interesting change that apple has made on the app store the get button the update button and the download button all now are in lowercase letters. Of course, the first letter will be on uppercase, but it used to be all uppercase letters and now they have changed that. And also you can see the text there is a bit bolder. So a very interesting change here. It has been on uppercase for a really, really long time. Now Apple has decided to change that. There will be this new splash screen once you open the private mode on Safari on iOS 17 beta 5. Basically, you can see right here, it says locked private browsing. It just explains how locked private browsing works on iOS 17 and with iOS 17 beta 5. They also have made a change here where if you go here to the locked section of your browser you can just unlock it without having to tap unlock of course if it's facing you and it recognizes your face id it will immediately get into the tabs without having to press the button here at all which is really interesting and it also locks immediately once you move from this section maybe to, to the other tabs that you have opened that are not private it will immediately lock the tabs if you move there or if you lock the device or of course if you get out of safari there is a change here on the reminders widget as well as you know with ios 17 we finally have interactive widgets so the reminders one is the one that is interactive and now if i check one of my reminders it won't just show there as checked but it will disappear from the widget as easy as that you can see i can check these and they just go away Apple has finally made a change here on the shortcuts widgets on the lock screen and now they look much much better as you can see right there it shows like two little icons stacked but the top one is actually the icon that you have set 
for that shortcut on the shortcuts app and this way it actually looks way way better than previously. Another great change on the shortcuts app on the automation section is that if you try to set up an automation on based on the location, now you can choose to run it immediately without having to confirm it at all, which of course makes this way better and it runs without having you actually confirming it, which is really, really annoying. So once you're setting this up, all you have to do is just tap on run immediately and you're good to go. Another change here under the shortcuts app, we now have new icons here for Safari action. So as you can see right there, we have the new icon, which in my opinion looks way better than before. Now this is the coolest part of iOS 17 beta 5. Now of course we need a few more days to test out the battery, but performance is actually looking really, really great. So we have about 200 in points increase here on the multi-core score. So the best I've gotten with iOS 17 was 6,740. Now we have 7,000 exactly 7,000 here on the multi-core score with beta 5, which is amazing. And also we have there a very slight increase on the single core score, of course, compared to beta 4, but the multi-core score has increased a lot. And of course, it is really, really good because we're getting very close to the release of the public version of iOS 17, and we want to have the best performance possible. So this is looking really great. And now let's talk about the future releases of iOS 17. As I said at the beginning, based on the number on the build number of iOS 17 beta 5 ending with a D, I believe we will have another three betas before Apple releases the RC version and then of course the public version of iOS 17. So this is how I think this will go. So currently they are on beta 5 right here on the 8th and I believe the 22nd will be the date that Apple releases beta 6. Then the 29th will be beta 7 and then right here on the 5th or the 6th will be beta 8. And then on the 12th, which is most likely the day that Apple will hold the new iPhone event, we will get the RC version, of course, which is basically the final version as the public version, which gets released to the devs and public testers before Apple releases the software to the public. And of course, after this, we get the public release and that should happen somewhere here on the 18th, most likely 90% sure it will happen on the 18th or maybe even the 19th, but these are the two dates that I would expect Apple to actually release the final version of iOS 17 to the public. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, iOS 17 beta 5 is looking quite good, but in my opinion, it's already over. This is what we're getting with iOS 17 because looking at this update, even though this is a great update, it didn't have many new features and changes and most of them that were here are just like updates or UI changes to the current features that iOS 17 has. So I'm not expecting Apple to actually add any more new features to iOS 17. And this is basically what we're getting in September 18th, most likely this is what we're getting with the public release. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Of course, subscribe for more iOS 17 videos and I'll see you on the next one.